Welcome back to the Holiday Road. Today we are exploring Moab and potentially a little bit of the park later on today. We are at the Moab Food Truck Park. There are probably 10 or 12 different food trucks here, so we're going to look around and find what we can touch. Super good. I know you can have some. Where'd you, where'd you get it at? Um, I think it's called Rainbow Bowls of Boab. Uh, they have smoothies and smoothie bowls. Um, this one has pineapple and strawberry mostly with a little bit of topping. I will be eating some of that. <laughs> this is one of the best things I've eaten in Moab. It's super good, it's cheap, There's so many options. Definitely stop here. That lunch was super, super good. Now Deanna wants to go into town a little bit and check out some of the shops, so that's where we're headed next. and a collectible patch that Dino is now starting to get from the different parks. All right, so I know the last time you saw us, we were at the Moab Food Truck Park for lunch, and so this is going to seem really weird that we're going to get food again, but I promise we just spent the entire afternoon out at the pool at our gorgeous resort, the Moab Resort. You can see the view of the mountains back there. Uh, but we are going next to the Sunset Grill, which is shortly away from our hotel, and at the top of a mountain overlooking everything. It's supposed to have some really cool history so we can learn about the history of Moab. We're gonna have an awesome dinner there. And then we are going to head into Arches National Park once again, our last time on this trip, uh, to hopefully hike the delicate arch, assuming the timing works out on everything else. So this restaurant actually used to be the house of a man who used to uh, kind of pioneer the uranium industry here in Utah. So kind of neat history. Sunset Grill was phenomenal. One of the best meals we've had in town. It was excellent. It did just start raining, but we're not going to let that ruin our plans. That's right. We are going to head. Park. Yep, we're heading to Arches National Park. Hopefully, the rain stops so we can do the Delicate Arch Trail. <laughs> we are here at the Delicate Arch Trailhead. Uh, dinner was delicious. I got like stained my shirt or something, but what else is new? Anyways, it looks like rain out here, so. I've warned Deanna, she seems okay with it, so we'll see what happens. It's a mile and a half up, mile and a half back. Hopefully we can get in and out before any rain starts. We are on our three mile hike round trip, three mile hike that is, to the Delicate Arch. I have prepared all day for this by laying by the pool and sleeping in. So hopefully you make it all the way up there. Doing great, honey. I Not only am I filming my beautiful wife, but mostly look at those green mountains behind her there. Really cool colors. So even though Deanna is the one with the pregnancy handicap, I would also like to point out that I hiked nine miles this morning, so my legs are pretty rough. So it's a little brutal for both of us here. Oh, 
on top of the rocks here. We have to be getting close. Deanna's doing awesome. We're still watching the skies up there. Looking kind of dark, but on the other side, the sun's poking out. So I'm thinking we gotta be getting close. there. Deanna's doing so good. This is actually a really cool trail. Um, it's more than just uh, the destination for this one. But look at the sun setting behind me. It's just gorgeous. This entire hike was worth it. The entire trip to the park was worth it just to see this. It's amazing. Is it worth it, man? Is it worth it? So I think we can both say that that's one of the most magnificent things we've ever seen in our lives. And what surprised me is the trail itself. It's actually super cool. I didn't read uh, about that anywhere online, but the trail was really fun. And we've got a rainbow kind of right behind us there. Uh, it's turning out to be the perfect evening. I'm sorry, I know we've made like eight videos on this rainbow, but it's getting more vibrant as the minutes go on. Like this is probably, I don't know if the video show up, but probably one of like the most colorful rainbows I've ever seen in my life. So I had one too many Coke Zeros at the Sunset Grill and I had to basically sprint the second half of that back to the bathroom. But the positive result of that is I get to cheer on Deanna finishing this journey. She did such an awesome job. Um, we didn't know if she could do it this, this far along pregnant, uh, but she made the hike. She did a great job and she made it up to see the arch. I made it. I made it back. <laughs> All right, guys, we have one more activity for the evening. This was Deanna's idea. So Arches, along with many of the other national parks, are a member of the international dark sky community, uh, meaning that there's there's no lights for so, so many miles and that any lights in the park uh, have to be set to certain standards so that they don't interrupt the view of the night sky. So we're going to do a little stargazing. We pulled off to a, uh, a side spot here, and we're going to let the sun go down the rest of the way, see what stars we can see. We are back in our hotel room. I'm sure the videos are not even going to close to do it justice, but seeing the stars was amazing. I've never seen so many stars in my entire life. Um, just that big dark sky and just thousands of stars everywhere. It was so cool. But hey, please subscribe to this channel. This is one video in a large series we're doing of our road trip across Colorado, um, Colorado, Utah, and Nevada. Uh, so we're excited. We've got many more adventures to come. Seven national parks, three state parks, and numerous other things along the way. So make sure you follow us for this whole adventure.